Hello everyone and welcome to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing today? Thank you every... <laughs> Jesus. It's got to be a record for quickest time until I stuttered. How is everyone doing today? Thank you very much for joining. If you guys would be so kind as to please hit the like button and subscribe. And while you guys are doing that, I'm going to finish pulling up the preview on my laptop. Alright, looks like we are all set. Looks like everything's good. We are good to go. Awesome. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be attempting to recreate Ryan Newman's 2003 Watkins Glen crash during practice for the Sirius at the Glen. If you haven't seen this wreck, I am not surprised. It's not super famous. It's actually pretty straightforward. Coming out of the chicane, he goes into, I forget which turn it is little too hot and then he backs it into the foam and gets up on his side hold on and I'm pulling it up alright there we go that's what I was trying to do alright so take a look at the lower left hand side of your screen Today, this is Ryan Newman exiting the bus stop chicane just a really quick Part clip his practice there's not too many his side after hitting pretty the sure that's the only shot of it and the tire wall yeah, and he stays okay. on his side. That's going to be the, the tricky part. Hey, Ryan Newman, big accident in practice. What happened? I got off the bus just after the bus stop. Uh, uh, yeah, so it's right after the chicane. It's loose, overcorrects. Backs it in. Passenger too, side first and gets up on his <laughs> side. Alright, so. It's like I said, pretty straightforward. Really quick clip that is what today's video is going to be all about it's going to play your info hurry up insert jeopardy music while the player info screen is loading come on There we go. Not the 49. We gotta go to down to the 12s. Na da dee dee da. So many cars. Where's the 12s? 12, 12. Perfect. TRG03, number 12 paint scheme for Ryan Newman. Single race. Not the 07 500. Get out of here, you're drunk. I don't have anything set up for this one, do I? Not lacrosse. We gotta go down to Watkins Glen. Since it was practice, I'm gonna not have too many cars on the track. Alright, pretty straightforward. We have to get through the chicane, overcorrect the car, going into that turn, back it in. And then get up on our side. Get to practice a little bit of Watkins Glen during the stream too. This is a completely default version of Watkins Glen. Nothing has changed. This is the in-game, or the version that comes with the game. Alright, so right here. Come on. Oh. I got up on my side and upside down, just I didn't spin all the way around like I needed to. I might have to downshift for this one. Because I tried really hard to spin out intentionally. And I was only able to be going sideways with the driver's side by the time I got into the wall. Two Ryan Newmans in a row? Yeah, that's funny. I thought of that, too. 
I should start planning my streams kind of along the same rules of the seven degrees of Kevin Bacon or seven degrees of Kevin Harvick I should say where my next stream has to be in the year 2003 be at Watkins Glen or involve Ryan Newman somehow that would be interesting there's no way I'm ever gonna schedule that all correctly but that would still be fun to try that for a little bit the seven degrees of Kevin Harvick I tried downshifting, that didn't work. Alright, so we're gonna have to do a whole lap. Which I don't mind, because I love Watkins Glen. Oop. Except I suck at it sometimes. Like right there where I locked up the brakes. Come on, get out of the grass. Or the sand, I should say. Yeah, look how... It's probably a huge flat spot to my two front tires from that. That one was the second trickiest turn in my opinion at this track. This one being the most trickiest. Went a little slow, but at least I didn't overshoot it. That was spun out from out of the turn there. See if we can do it in the cockpit view this time, if that makes it any easier. Nope. Same thing. I might have to downshift into reverse or something. So I'm not able to wiggle the car around quick enough to have it hit that wall with the passenger side first. I'll try a couple more times before I switch to the directional pad to shift so I can like downshift to reverse immediately and that'll probably spin my car around much faster the way I need it to. Oops, enough the grass. Again. Knocked up the front tires a little bit that time. Lost a lot of ground. Come on. Nope, same thing. Alright, I'll try one more time before I switch to the direct shifting versus just the paddle shifters. So I can use the buttons to shift so I can downshift to reverse directly. I'll probably spin my car out a lot quicker. That turned a little wide. Got up onto the curve in that one. Trying to spin my car out on purpose in that turn, it's harder than it seems. Oh. Let's go to the boot. Oh no, it's blocked off. <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm trying to spin my car out in this turn. I'm but just the way the banking is and the grip is for the track, which I have not touched. Believe it or not. I just can't spin it out, so we're gonna do this. No, not garage. I want to go to settings. Direct selection. So that way I can just try shifting into reverse directly to spin myself out quickly. Because in the replay, you don't even see the first part of the spin. 
you to see the latter half. So how we start spinning really doesn't matter. So instead of the paddle shifters, now I'm using the little directional pad to shift. I have up is first, left is second, down is third, right is fourth. And then I have Y over here on the G920 is reverse and X is neutral for the direct selection buttons. That's what I have at least. So right here, I'm going to downshift directly to reverse. There we go. Oh. Well, that was basically the right kind of spin I needed. Just no luck getting up on my side in that one. Yeah, I need to hit that wall and just dig in at a right enough angle and hopefully get lucky enough to land right on my side. Alright, so I think this downshifting into reverse is the right idea for this reenactment. Just need to get lucky enough to get up on my side now. Shifting the third a little too early. method again. Nope. Oh, spun a little too fast that time. Hit the wall almost head on. That would have been a hard wreck, even with that foam. Alright, I need more speed. I'm trying as fast as I can. It's not like I'm intentionally going into that turn slowly. Oops. I accidentally shifted into second when I meant to hit fourth. How the hell did my engine not blow there? Getting there, but still no luck getting up on my side when I get the right spin. And that one was... I was going in there pretty fast. There's plenty of speed in that one. I just need to hit it at the right angle. It kind of wedges me up on my side. Now we've seen, like, in that first attempt, if we just hit it fast enough straight on with the driver's side, I can go up on my side, I just need that same kind of momentum after I spin around, and it's the passenger side of the car facing the wall. Oops, gonna go through the chicane a little bit. Tried. That slowly spun the car around when the engine blew that time. It wasn't a quick spin like the previous attempts have been. Alright, for every failed one, I'm gonna try to get to the next one super quick. No unnecessary replay watching. Unless there's a really cool wreck that happens. Try to get as many attempts in as possible. Same thing as last time. There's a slower spin. 
my car is still somehow drivable. This feels incredibly loose. Ouch. I would always try to hit that wall and cause big wrecks whenever I'd used to goof around at Watkins Glen. too fast again that time. Did a full 360. I needed to maybe wait a little bit longer into the turn, but I, if I waited any longer, I felt like I wouldn't have been having had the speed. Yeah, I definitely needed to wait a little bit. Keep it to 35. Keep it under 25 the foam was much closer to the track, the edge of the track where he went off, so he must have been closer to the exit of the turn. Chat ain't frozen yet, Wilson. Oh, actually, I'm just gonna try this. Come on. Oh, that was a step in the right direction. I think I'm just gonna skip that chicane for future attempts because I can get a much better angle into that turn for the spin I need to get. I got up in the air at least a little bit on that one. Keep it to 35. Keep it under 2500. Second. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Yeah, so I'm going to skip that chicane this time. So I can get a much better angle into that turn. I think I did that just a little too soon that time, too. Alright. Getting closer. you go up on your side. Why, oh why, will you not go up on your side? <laughs> yes, I know that doesn't rhyme. All the tire marks from the previous attempts. Limit 35. Keep it under 2500. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Do it, Ellie. Not now. I'm busy. 
got a cat sneaking up on me, I know for sure wants to jump on my lap right now. I'm busy. Here she comes trying to squeeze her way in. Darn it. in the right direction. I thought I was going to go on my side for a second for that one actually. Right here. I thought there was maybe a chance. Right when I was starting to tip like that. But nope. Back on all fours. Limit 35. Keep it I need to almost get airborne enough going off that, that track during that turn fast enough. Where I get airborne. I have no idea. I just have to keep trying. I'm pretty sure before when I was saying all the stuff up the passenger side and driver side of the car hit me wall, I'm pretty sure I had to go backwards now that I'm seeing and visualizing over and over how the car's hitting the wall. Gearbox. Ouch. Looks like you got wheel damage. Yeah, no crap. Looks like we lost that motor. I was gonna say, no way Tony Stewart's just gonna run me down when I'm that far off the track. Keep it under. Chat still going? Awesome, it is. You're gonna jump up or are you just gonna sit there and stare at me? I'm gonna have to toss you off after you do, but. I put disappointment over with no. Go up on your side. Limit 35. Keep it under 2500. Okay, you're clear. Do I have to turn the grip up? Do I have to adjust the wall or foam grip, whatever? Barrier grip, I have no idea. Chassis grip? What do I need to do to climb that wall better? Aside from just hit it at like 200 miles an hour. through the chicane, how they used to, before the mid-90s. Stupid gearbox again. Oh, there she is. She's only sitting there waiting to do it for like 
five minutes. Ouch. upside down. I just need to hit it at 120. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Keep it to 35. Keep it under. Keep out. In second. Come back here, Walter. Whoa. Can't steer properly with this can on my lap. you go on your side. There goes first gear. Oops. See, that's what happens when I glance away from the screen to look at the chat for a few seconds. I crash. Track tire wall grip a thing. Limit 35. Keep it under 25 okay, you're clear of I'll try after this attempt, since we're right at the bottom of the hour anyway. It's usually when I try to change some settings if I do. Here, and try doing some experimental changes in the track INI file.
Nope. Alright, so... Exit out of the game we shall. Go into the tracks folder. Hit 5 so you guys can see what's going on. Go down to Watkins Glen. Open up the track INI file. Alright, let's see what we all got here. You say track tire barrier or track wall grip? Is hay bale grip a thing? I mean, I'm I'm gonna put it in. I just. That's cool. I never knew about that, if it is. Alright, just making sure I spelled bail right. Alright, we'll try those two. See if we have any luck there. I put in the right physics section. Alright, good. Oh, well, there's the only the one for this anyway. Alright, did I save it? Now I did. By the way, for those of you that haven't yet, be sure to go check out my uh, Chad Chaffin 2005 flip reenactment. I just posted that this morning. Seems to be getting really good reviews so far. I realize it's not perfect, like none of my reenactments, but after two plus hours of trying, it was the closest I got. And I felt the closest I was going to get. So be sure to go check that out if you haven't yet. I'd really appreciate it. Hit the like button if you enjoy it. Alright, so... Track tire wall and track hay bale grip. We just manually added and adjusted. So let's see if that does anything. I'm just making sure... That the chat is not frozen. Alright, it ain't. So once again, I'm gonna just go right through the chicane because I can get a better angle into that turn for the purpose of this reenactment if I do it that way. Almost. I just need to hit it at a hard enough, right enough angle to get up on my side initially. Like right there was close. And then hopefully if I am able to clear that tire wall, the momentum of the car will take care of the rest of pushing me all the way up on my side. Try actually doing an onboard attempt. And we're just going to go through the chicane. time instead. I spun around a little too much. Yep. Right, I'll try one more. One more cockpit view attempt. Right on 
through the chicane. Let's slow down to third and second gear. Come on, come on. Oh, darn it. I was up in the air and I hit right at that where that angle in the wall is. Thought that was maybe going to be a good one, but still no cigar. Ah, oh, darn it. Getting ever so close, but still no luck actually getting on the side yet. Why is there a Bigfoot ad? Sasquatch. That was a hard hit and completely accidental. Jeff Burton coming into my racing line threw me off just ever so slightly. I had to take that turn a little too wide than I'm used to. I hit the brakes and locked up. That didn't help. And then once I got on the grass, just right into the right into the wall. I'm just messing around. Focus, Cody. The Watkins Glen configuration back before they had that wall opening and that David Rudiman hit and flipped over from. Things of death crap. the grass. Still no luck. I haven't gotten on my on my side this entire time. gotten on my side once even too much and then I flipped over I just haven't climbed the wall the way I need to at all all damaged but still no s on the side action
thought that one was gonna be good. That was like the perfect spin, the perfect hit into the wall, and still nothing. What am I doing wrong? The game physics just not built for this since the foam wall can't break apart like it did in Newman's crash. So close to being up on my side there. Limit 35. Keep it under 2500. Okay, you're clear for the Oh, what I'm doing wrong, if anything, or if it's just destined to not happen. I took the S's at a horrible angle there. again. Ow. Well, that was a hard wreck. I thought for sure I was going to get hit by Jeff Burton in the 99 there when I went dead left. Frustrated. Dave Blaney. Oops. That was almost a really cool burnout. Until I hit the wall. Plenty of decent attempts, just no luck getting on my side. That one was looking promising too, because for a second there it looked like I was going to get up on my side. Right. There I was having hope. And then, nope. From hope to nope. The story of my life. <laughs>
to get off the wall because my reverse is broken. Kind of. Oh, Stuart almost went into that wall. <laughs> you tell him I'm getting bored. I'm losing faith. What the hell? Alright. Ah, uh, that's right. Paint schemes got switched around for the 2003 Aaron's 499 reenact, and I was wondering why that said Rusty Wallace, but it was the 09 paint scheme. There we go. I was confused as hell for a second. Need to switch them back. With that reminder. That doesn't count. Actually, like stayed on my side for a second once though but the spin wasn't correct that's the whole thing I finally got up on my side but the spin wasn't correct I just need to do that backwards and stay on my side What's so hard about that next is the chat frozen yet? Close. I actually got up on the wall, but I spun back down off of it. I actually got up on the wall during that one. During the correct spin. Alright, so I think I need to aim for right where that angle is, because... I was on the wall for a second. Look at that. Yeah, I need to aim for right where that angle is, because that seems like the best option. Damn it, instead of sliding back down, I should have dug in and just stayed on my side. I was actually up on the wall that time. Of course, with 10 minutes to go in the stream, now I'm starting to get glimmers of hope. And it's almost over. A side by side battle in front of me going on. That Biffle takes the spot away. Alright, 
to try to go for that exact same spot as the last time. I know it's a lot easier said than done. Well, I hit that angled part, just didn't spin around all the way because the gearbox just shot out versus me downshifting. I was about the right, sp almost the exact same spot as last time, I just, yeah, my gearbox blew out so I didn't get spun around all the way. I just sent my car sideways instead of spinning it all the way around. No. Holy really crap, that was close. Too early that time, and I kind of messed the spin up. Spin all the way out that time. Damn you, gearbox. Damn you, tires. Wow, that was completely accidental. And one of the harder wrecks this stream. Got loose into that turn and went right head on into that opening. Keep it to 35. Keep it under. Alright guys, unfortunately this is probably gonna be the third to last attempt. going in a little bit. I will be streaming later again today. And once again, go check out my Chad Chaff and Flippery Neck if you haven't yet. I'm really proud of how it turned out. It wasn't a 100% perfect attempt, but it was the closest I got after two hours. Close enough to where mixed with the editing, it looks pretty good. If you ask me. If I may say so myself. I think I just have to do it a little later than the last two times. Come on. Oh, damn it. I hit the right spot again. And I was up on the wall again, but... Getting close. God damn it. I need to get up and stay up on my side. So hard about that. Sorry, Wall Trip. That was a bust. That counts as a second to last attempt. Just kidding. Same spot as last time. So it's pretty close. <sighs> wow. 
that attempt sucked. All right, one last one, and then I will, I will do a backwards one going the wrong way. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see how that turns out on the road course, but I know where I'll do it. I'll do my backwards crash at my usual spot at Watkins Glen. Right after the turn, I'm trying to wreck at on that straight. Oops. too soon. Did I do it too soon or too late? I don't know, but regardless, we're gonna exit out of this just so we can turn the number of opponents way back up to the max. Turn their difficulty up a little bit so they're a little bit faster. And now we're gonna go into race and cause some mayhem. It's cloudy and ominous. Fitting for what I'm about to do to them. Am I going to take them out right here? Or right up here, right before the track starts to get narrow, but... By the time they get up here, they're starting to break anyway, so I think I'm going to try to take them out a little bit earlier down this straight. So I'm gonna wait right here, wait for them to get up to speed, come around the track, and then I'm gonna be taking them out on this straight. Get ready now. Going green. Pace cars in. Newman has had enough hard wrecks in 2003. He's finally snapped and gone off the deep end. You're about to see the result. D. Goward? Who is that? Oh, that's one of the... That's one of the fantasy drivers. I still need to find the 2003 car set with all the actual drivers. TRG has one, but they don't have the list. You have to kind of make the list yourself. Oh yeah, just wait. Just you wait. If you think this is reckless. It started off slow, but it looked like the ending of that one got pretty damn brutal once I got towards that track where it narrows right here. Let's go on board with Kenseth. Or not on board, just follow him. Junior took a hard shot. That's who I saw flying through the air. So Junior, Kenseth, and the number four. Who's in the number four at that time? All went upside down. Yeah, once I got to that track opening, it got a little brutal. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. If you enjoyed it, let me know your suggestions for future videos down in the comments. Also check out my social media links, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. If you're interested in those, and I think that's about it. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hope to catch you all at the next stream. Until then, hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace. Bye.